and we pass to the southward across the equator to the Galapagos Islands, which are located 600 miles west of Ecuador. We anchor at Black Beach Anchorage, Charles Island, also known as Floriana, and are met by Dr. Ritter and Frau Dora Kerwin. It is the third time that Hancock expeditions have visited the island retreat of this couple, and they are greeting Captain Hancock and Dr. Schmidt, who follows him out of the skiff, as old friends. This couple has forsaken a life of comfort and convenience in Germany to end their days in exile. And just as soon as we have loaded up the donkey, we will begin a trek of 45 minutes from Bat Beach Anchorage to Frido, their hermit home. Here, the couple has established a Garden of Eden. Dr. Ritter is Adam, and Dora Kerwin is Eve. Like the original couple, they wear no clothing at all, except when visitors arrive on their island. The milk can will become a watering pot for Dora Kerwin's flower garden, and there are many uses for the utensils and supplies that have been brought from Valero Three, Water is always scarce in the Galapagos, and a shower bath is a luxury. You'll have to pardon our motion picture director, who is bringing up the rear. Accustomed to trekking only along Hollywood Boulevard, he was not accustomed to seven miles of Galapagos lava and he is fagged, to put it mildly. Fortunately, the home of the Viennese Baroness Wagner Bosque was not far away. Perhaps you remember reading about the so-called Queen of the Galapagos Islands. She is not beautiful, but yet attractive enough to have lured two European men to share her exile. The one of them, Philipson, the other Lorenzo, and it is Lorenzo whom you see in this picture. Take a good look at him, for in a moment we will see him in a vastly different role. Let us imagine that a year has elapsed, a year during which time the world has been shocked by news of the disappearance of the Baroness and her companion Philipson. Returning to Marquena Island, northernmost of the Galapagos group in December 1934, Valero Three is attracted by a shipwrecked signal of distress, and upon investigating, Captain Hancock finds a body which he recognizes as that of Nugurud, a sailor who died clutching a coil of rope. Twenty-five feet away was the desiccated body of Lorenzo, whom we last saw feeding the donkey in the company of the Baroness. These men had died of thirst and not of hunger, for all about was food to be had.